Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, December 13th. Thank you so much for joining into our weekly healthcare reform webinars. My name is Deb Wilkinson. I'm the Vice President of the Health Plan Options Department at URL. And uh, we've been running these webinars now for more than five years. This is the next to the last webinar in this series. We are going to a new format starting with uh, uh, 2019, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. But uh, you know, this is a place, uh, whether it's on a weekly or a monthly basis, that you can come and hopefully get your questions answered. The new format is really going to be um, focusing not only on legislative issues on the federal level and the state level, <clears throat> pardon me, but also talking about product information and sales ideas. So I think, uh, you know, it's going to be a change for, for all of us and for those of you that um, have continued to join in every week, but um, hopefully just as valuable and, and even more valuable. So um, with these webinars, questions are definitely encouraged, and you can ask your questions in one of two ways. You can either raise your electronic hand icon, which is in the control panel to the right of your screen, or you can type in your questions in the question box, and I'll answer those at the end of the webinar. There are also some attachments, some handouts in your control panel. The 2019 Agent Compensation for Individual and Short Term, the Central PA Highmark UPMC Pinnacle um, Network Agreement, and then our Colonial Life URL Jumpstart Bonus, which could earn you up to $250 and of course our December deadline. So if you do not uh, are not able to get any of those handouts, shoot me an email and I'll forward any or all of them to you. <clears throat> so let's get started with the agenda just uh, with a show of your electronic hands. If you can see my screen and hear me okay, great. Perfect, I'm going to put your hands down now and let's get right into the agenda. We've talked about the, this for the last couple of weeks. Um, CVS Health now owns Aetna. New products are going to be on their way. Um, they just announced yesterday that UPMC Pinnacle and Aetna have expanded their network of clinical services, and it's for the Aetna Whole Health Pinnacle Health products. Um, and the hospitals that were added are UPMC, Pinnacle, Carlisle, Hanover, Lancaster, Lidditz, and York. Um, so that is good when networks expand, certainly more access to in-network providers. Additionally, UPMC Pinnacle will close UPMC Pinnacle Lancaster in 2019 and, tra and transition all services to the UPMC Pinnacle Lidditz. So this is how bizarre and quickly these two things change. So on the same day, the notice came out that UPMC and Aetna, UPMC Pinnacle, excuse me, and Aetna were expanding their network. You see the UPMC Pinnacle Lancaster was listed. Same day, an announcement that they're closing their Lancaster facility and moving everything to lit it. So yeah, crazy times in the insurance industry, that's for sure. Um, but anyway, those are really the only legislative, not even really legislative updates that I have, but things of note. Um, so UPMC Health Plan is uh, also one of the only carriers to accept credit card payments for group plans. They put an announcement out and it is in your newsletter, effective 3-1, UPMC will no longer take American Express. All other credit card transactions, in, including Visa, MasterCard, Discover, will be charged a 2.5% merchant surcharge. So again, just be mindful of that. There are other ways to pay health, insur group health insurance premiums, um, and 2.5% these days is quite a bit. So um, other ways to pay, that's all I have to say. Highmark Central PA only, that is for the 21 counties in Central PA, sales of individual under 65 plans for individuals and families now until the close of open enrollment on 1215 can and will earn you an additional 160 per member so if it's a four person group uh, four person family excuse me that is four times 160 it is an exclusive um, elite brokerage offering that highmark is making um, 
yes, late in the game, but uh, it is something. I would just ask that if you are in central PA, specifically in Dauphin, Cumberland, Perry counties, and you use UPMC Pinnacles, Highmark's individual plans on the marketplace do not include coverage for UPMC Pinnacle hospitals because they are EPO plans. So, um, you know, don't, don't in your in your haste to get to earn this additional money, um, don't forget the fact that the network may not work for everyone. That's probably why they're having some uh, some issues uh, getting enrollment. But uh, regardless, it is something that you can take advantage of. Here's a big one that we've been talking about: National General Short-Term Limited Duration Plans. Uh, most of you on Friday received information that Pennsylvania has temporarily suspended all sales. So that was Friday the seventh, and um, no new sales until the Pennsylvania Insurance Insurance Department approves a Pennsylvania-specific product. They have refiled, and they've refiled for the 364 days. But quite frankly, and this is no inside information, it's just my, my feeling um, and my expectation is that the Pennsylvania Insurance Department will more than likely only approve the 89 days. I think the most that we can hope for is that they restore the 89 days with uh, the ability to have the, the three consecutive policies. You go in once, you enter information once, and you purchase essentially four consecutive or four 89-day policies, um, but we'll see. There's no time frame on when that would be approved, but uh, at this point, there are no short-term medical sales with National General in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Another product that we do have available for the 89 days is IHC. That information is on our site. If you have an interest, they have a value plan, which is, of course, just as it says, has uh, you know, lower coinsurance um, options, and they have a standard plan, and then they have a plus plan. The plus plan actually, it's definitely more expensive, but it does cover up to $25,000 in pre-existing conditions for each insured. Um, so that is on our site. If you have questions about it, let me know. Um, Highmark versus UPMC Network, the flyer is attached. Just please note that you know, regardless of the craziness in in the back and forth uh, in you know these carriers going out to market and and making grandiose statements about their networks, um, Highmark and UPMC have I'm sorry Highmark and UPMC Pinnacle have an agreement for the Carlisle, Osteo, Harrisburg, Lancaster, Lidditz Memorial, and West Shore hospitals until June 30th of, of 2025. So that's quite a distance away. And then UPMC Pinnacle Hanover will continue to be in network through June 30th of 2024. Um, there are a number of other hospitals that are still in network. So I thought that was important with the confusion on all of these networks to, to make sure that you understand that. And again, that flyer is attached. We talked about this as well. I think this with Nationwide and Capital Blue Cross, the offering of the EAP programs is definitely timely. Um, and hopefully, whether you're insured with Nationwide on the group side for life and short-term and or long-term disability, or Cap Blue Cross groups in the two to 50 market, effective one one, uh, you can you can have your your group clients take advantage of these EAP offerings. Um, and you know have some real benefits for for your clients. Cat Blue Cross commission retractions for the under 65 and over 65 med set markets. Um, you know they are still coming in. We are well. We're obviously watching them very closely because there are some errors, um, which we mentioned before. There are also some payment corrections. It looks like they are going really into the, you know, those finer details and looking at what they paid, what they should have paid, and either retracting or correcting payments from eight to five dollars or five to eight dollars. It's a real nightmare. Um, but we are expecting a complete accounting um, the beginning of next week 
in which uh, the Commission Department and our programmer are going to verify all of this data and hopefully do the due diligence for you. But again, I would just urge you to watch those compensation statements, look at anything that you think is, is out of whack, and let us know, please. Um, so that's it. That brings us up to our open discussion. Uh, just be mindful that next webinar is next week on the 20th of December at 9.30, same time, but there will not be a webinar the Thursday after, which is December 27th. And then, of course, as mentioned, we'll be going into our new format. So let's see what questions we have. Um, if anyone wants to raise their hand, they can certainly do that now. Um, in the meantime, I will answer these questions. Um, in October, Cap, in October, Cap Blue Cross sent marketplace customers letters, letters saying their premiums for 2019 would be reduced, but the bills show increases of 100 plus per month or more. So what's up? Well, Dave, this happens every year. Um, the carriers have to get out the renewal information to the their current insureds whether or not they have rates approved or not. And what they did is they sent out the rates for 2019 on the plans that your clients had for 18, giving them the new premium, but the subsidy, they kept the same because obviously they have no way of knowing what the 2019 subsidy eligibility would be. So what happened is 2018 subsidies were much larger than 2019, so what you're seeing is, it's you know I hate to say bait and switch because it's not, but it's it's kind of uh, you know pretty pretty drastic the difference in what was shown to be the renewal as opposed to what they actually get because of the reduced subsidy. So I don't know if that helps you at all. It's not going to make a difference. Um, there are some letters also saying that your clients don't have to do anything to renew. But the real issue with that is their, their income information does not reset. So come March or April when taxes are done and they pull that information or have to send in that information, um, that income is all going to reset and therefore the subsidy would. And they could really be hammered with, with additional premiums or um, you know, have to pay back subsidies. So everyone should go into that marketplace, update their income, whether they're changing plans or not. Um, Brandy says, thank you for the help with the Cat Blue Cross Commissions. You are absolutely welcome. We are as disgusted as you are. Uh, you know, you guys have worked so hard for these, these individuals and families, and it just drives me nuts that, uh, you know, we're being nickeled and dimed when, when it's so small to begin with. Um, Mike says, IHC short term, I'm not finding details on their site to contrast the types of plans, value short term, and plus anything available. Yeah, Mike, um, I believe there is on that quoting portal. Um, I did see the information yesterday, but let me see what I can pull for you and uh, shoot that over to you. And that's it. Those are all the questions we have today. As always, I really thank you for joining in every week. Um, you know, I appreciate the partnership and the business that you have sent in. This is our busiest week of the year with the uh, cutoff for the one ones. Um, but, you know, we will do what we have to do as we always do. <laughs> um, in the meantime, I just wish all of you a great balance of the week and a wonderful weekend. Bye bye.